It's 2024 and things are completely out of control in the rap world when it comes to streaming. We got the neighborhood lick, Aiden Ross, who somehow got scammed by two Atlanta rappers in less than 48 hours, and 21 Savage and Playboy Cardi. At least the 21 Savage situation could have passed off as accidental, because this Playboy Cardi situation looks completely on purpose. Bro really pulled up for five minutes to stand there, render like a PS2 NPC, just to leave with a substantial amount of money in a bag in hand and the aftermath is apparently just as crazy as what happened bro you cannot make this up let's get into this right now but before we do i'm gonna need you to tap in man like comment subscribe we're gonna run on this video man make sure you hit up that merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com and make sure you tap on that notification bell so whenever i post y'all are tuned in right away man so we got to get into this right now let's get it Man, it's pretty much gone all the way downhill for Aiden Ross at this point. But bro should have seen this from the signs from the jump. First off, how the hell are you going to trust a dude on your live stream when he apparently wasn't even there for the birth of his son? While I was pregnant, this man didn't even come to see his son be born. He went to Philly to play the PlayStation with little Uzi. Bro, I could have told you Cardi not going to sit in no damn chair and talk about his feelings or none of that type of shit. Bro is a straight cult leader with a bunch of grown ass niggas talking about themselves as bam. You honestly think he gives a damn shit? or fuck about anything that's going on in reality. That was apparently Aiden Ross's crucial mistake because it seems like Cardi only shows up to get his music performances off and to get his money. And it seems like that's exactly to what went down. But in order to understand what exactly happened and how Aiden Ross crashed out like this, man, we gotta start from the jump, all the way from the jump. So Aiden Ross was in the news very heavily the last couple days because of the whole incident that happened on his live stream with 21 Savage where him and 21 were playing a card game. You know, Aiden saw the cards were marked and then took the issue up with 21 Savage and then 21 paid him 250k for the whole situation. So I guess trying to capitalize off this momentum, Aiden decided to try to get someone that he's been trying to get on the stream for years, Playboy Cardi. So just like six or seven hours before it was supposed to happen, Aiden Ross posted on Twitter saying he was getting Cardi on his stream. At first, People were spreading a rumor that he had to pay 50k for Cardi to be on, but Aiden Ross made sure to state that he was actually paying apparently 2 million dollars and giving this dude a Ferrari for his time on the stream. I'm guessing by the nature of this transaction, I don't think that Aiden Ross necessarily paid out of pocket for this agreement. I would guess that he got the person who basically owns Kick to foot the bill. Since Aiden is basically like a Kick ambassador trying to grow the platform, like if you really think about it, it's pretty genius, you know? Imagine how many people would download Kick now, especially on their phones, like on the app store and stuff like that, if they were able to see their vamp overlord stare at them at the least convenient time possible in the dead of night, but that's neither here nor there. So. Apparently, in order to fulfill this dream, Aiden had to fly across the country. So I'm guessing because Playboy Cardi appeared at the Grammys, Aiden had to pull up to LA in order to make it possible for Cardi to hop on. He then begins his dream, basically hyping up this Playboy Cardi feature like it's the best thing since sliced bread. And I guess the whole time, Cardi is apparently sitting in Aiden Ross's damn driveway for six hours, doing all types of vamp ritual shit. Bruh, I swear you can't make this up. I've never seen someone really just care less about anything he really does. I guess it's really like on some punk type vibe to really just not care on that level. It's like some real narcissism, but we should have known this. Things have taken a strange turn, but finally Cardi gets on stream and then eventually this is where all things just start going to shit. Finesse of the century. So this ninja Cardi comes on stream, slowly hugs Aiden Ross and Aiden Ross is visibly weirded out like a mother fucker bro was like either mad tired or talking to him like he's on a cooking show with a soft little voice bro sounded like a cartoon mouse he was like we now have playboy cardi i love you brother and cardi hugged him said i loved you or some type of weird shit like that and aiden then decided to give him the money which i believe was like i don't even know how much everyone thought it was like half of the one million dollars on the spot Cardi then starts doing some strange vamp dance, looking at the camera rocking a full gimp mask. Shit looked like a freaky Rick Owens commercial. Bro was standing there looking at the camera posted up, playing the song Evil Jordan. I mean off rip, what other signs do you need? 
Bro played a song that said he was evil while staring at the camera in front of 500k people. You really think that Cardi's gonna not crash out? I mean, like, honestly, that's like the only thing that I would really assume that he would do at that point. Bro then left immediately and left Adon basically just like forced to deal with the consequences. On his live, he said he was pretty much ridiculous that everything that went down. And he said that he apparently got pressed by Cardi's goons because they didn't get the rest of the money. On top of everything, he canceled the private jet that he was supposed to get for him bro it was just an all crash out situation you know it's bad when he hops on a phone call with 21 savage who just robbed him and 21 is like bro at least i stayed on stream for mad long you basically paid a million dollars for six minutes of content i mean you should have read all the signs bro playboy cardi yeah his music is good yeah he has a fan base but he's pretty much known for not taking up on his word for pretty much anything like bro talks about dropping music he said he was gonna drop music in january it's now midway through february bro has dropped music but he said he was gonna drop a project that never materialized we had the whole narcissist promotion that never materialized we had the tour that never materialized bro the one thing that you can count on with playboy cardi is he is not gonna do what he says so the fact that he even showed up bro the fact that he even showed up is honestly a blessing the fact that he even did show up hug you took the money and then dip honestly it's a grand time for playboy cardi that's like you know there's probably so many people that never even got that far that even will ever be able to get that in their type of content but honestly bro like you really got to just take that as a w because the controversy that this really gives you and put you in the forefront of the news again for the second week straight is worth way more than whatever nonsense Playboy Cardi would have probably said, you know? It's not like Playboy Cardi's even saying no profound things like on his stream. Like what were you really gonna expect him to say? Like his favorite food and stuff? And you were gonna like, you know, I feel like the thing about streamers that is actually cool about rap music is you guys get like the real personality of the artist. Like when you had 21 Savage, you really showed that he was like a real dude, you know? You, that like a lot of these artists that hop on, you get their real personalities. And that's the point in the stream, to really see the human side of these people that you see online. Like the Soldier Boy stream that he had. Like all of these were streams that were really good because I was able to see what they're really like. And Cardi, on the other hand, is not no normal dude. He's not even a human. Debatably, I would say he's not a human. I don't know if he's like a skinwalker. I don't know what he is, but there's no way that you were gonna get no personified look at Cardi's life or anything like that. Like, I would have told you that off rip. I mean, pretty much anyone could tell. Bro apparently strangled his pregnant girlfriend, and you're just now realizing that this dude could be a bad person, you know? I listened to the dude's music, but I listened to it with a grain of salt, really thinking like, damn, man, this dude sucks, but his music is good, and I'm not gonna rely on him for anything in the future. I'm not even gonna rely on him or dropping his music on time if we get anything or hear anything from him then that's enough you know that in itself is enough to warrant you know a positive reaction so i mean all is not lost i'm sure that aiden ross is going to make way more money off this stream than he would have if playboy cardi sat there and just said stuff but i personally don't think that playboy cardi is that introspective enough to sit in one spot and talk about his life like bro is trying to be mysterious as possible it was cool though that he had the bald dude making a cameo that be announcing playboy cardi's music and stuff you know i feel like that's a w and at the end of the day this could have been all completely scripted i mean i wouldn't be surprised if they gave him money without any type of contract or notice or anything holding him accountable for you know showing up for a certain amount of time it was probably just to show up and then once you stream for a certain amount of hours you get the rest of the bag and honestly we don't even know maybe aiden ross kind of finessed cardi or something like that and you know didn't give the money so maybe there was something else there and then that's just the narrative and on top of that cardi's not really going to speak anything out of that i know his sister basically said make sure y'all go to bed because obviously he's not coming back so maybe there was some type of disagreement throughout all this and he wanted the rest of his bag and saw that there was some type of issue but personally i really feel like that this could have been scripted along with everything because you know a lot of these like type of streamers definitely need some type of like you know it's like a movie you need some type of conflict to really make your point across to get people to tap in with your stuff and the amount of people that are going to tap in with his streams and everything over the next 
couple days it's honestly more monumental so you can't really be mad at it you know bro really took this time to pull up sorta and like you know halfway show up so you know it's not a total l but bro was basically standing there for the rest of the night like flabbergasted and wondering how he even got to this point bro you got to this point thinking that you could control the vamp overlord bro bro doesn't even control himself i feel like he lets his intrusive thoughts win 24 7 his life is just intrusive thoughts he just kind of goes wherever the fact that they canceled the flight and then bro was just like whatever you know like that just shows that bro doesn't even have it doesn't seem like he has any plans throughout the day like it doesn't seem like cardi be like oh yeah i'm gonna do this 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 and this it seems like cardi goes wherever the wind blows him you know maybe the wind blew him to the grammys he left the wind blew him to aiden ross's stream midway through he needed some more lean or needed some more gas or needed some more perks or something so he was like damn man i'm itching to leave this whole room something like that man honestly though I do not see this as an L. There's only W's when you can get this type of like, exposure on your platform and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, it's like, how can you really be mad, you know? But 21 Savage did have a point, you know? Because 21 Savage really does have more monthly listeners and everything like that. So he was complaining with Aiden, like, yo, how you pay this dude for six minutes of exposure, you know? At the end of the day, that's true. But, you know, I feel like 21 Savage does have more monthly listeners. But at the end of the day, I feel like Playboy Cardi has more dedicated listeners that just listen to him. And they get about the same amount of, like, overall first week streams. So it's not really like they shouldn't both be getting paid. But, you know, Aiden Ross is probably down bad if he had to call 21 Savage who just robbed him off of this type of situation, man. But, hey, let me know in the comments what y'all think about this. Do you think this is scripted? Do you think this is legit? Do you think that Cardi is ever going to say anything about this? Or do you think he's just going to float around? Do you think he's going to get any type of repercussions? Did they sign a contract or anything? I mean, obviously not if bro just did this and he didn't threaten any legal action or nothing like that. So it's going to be surprising what really happens. But let me know. Tap in the comments what y'all think, man. Real stay safe shit. You already know what's going on. Like, comment, subscribe, man. We need that shit, man. Peace.